Everyone who was in hip hop was familiar with like your beef with Jay-Z. I'm the reason why they had Okay, was there a beef. specific thing that happened? No, there was no specific thing. It's just like in any relationship when you're dating more than one person, there was nothing saving it. You okay. know, it's just, I had to go. You started seeing other men? I started seeing other people while we were in the relationship. Okay. Crazy, right. you, you, I know what you did to Nas, Jay. <laughs> I feel like... Nah, he come out on the same weekend. Hold on to your seats, folks, because the drama between Jay-Z and Nas just took another juicy turn. This rap feud has been going on for what feels like an eternity, and it's showing no signs of slowing down. And who better to keep the pot stirring than the one and only 50 Cent? He's always ready to spill the tea and give us a good laugh. According to the master of controversy himself, 50 Cent Nas is apparently still holding, get this, a grudge against Jay-Z for a scandalous incident that went down in 2018. Picture this, Nas is all set to release his album Nasser, ready to take the rap world by storm, but then out of nowhere, the dynamic power couple, Jay-Z and Beyonce dropped their surprise album, Everything Is Love, on the exact same day. Talk about sabotage. Wait, wait. You, you... I know what you did to Nas, Jay. <laughs> I feel like... Nah, he come out on the same weekend. In true 50 Cent fashion, he didn't hesitate to spill the beans on this alleged conspiracy. He claimed that Jay-Z and Beyonce deliberately overshadowed Nas's release, leaving him in the dust. Poor Nas. Caught in the crossfire of the Carter's power moves. But here's the kicker. 50 Cent believes that Jay-Z and Beyonce are still slapping Nas behind the scenes, and no one even realizes it. This they're slapping him without everybody noticing. What exactly are they doing? We can only imagine the clandestine maneuvers happening in the shadows. Secret album releases, subtle diss tracks, the suspense is killing us. Anyway, 50 Cent didn't stop there. In a recent interview, he couldn't resist sharing his unfiltered thoughts on the careers of both Jay-Z and Nas. Brace yourselves, because this one's a doozy. According to 50 Cent, Nas is the undisputed king, the cream of the crop, the best of the best. But when it comes to Jay-Z, well, let's just say he's only a good businessman. Nas, the best. Who? Jay-Z, good business. Ouch, shots fired indeed. Anyway, the fans have spoken and it seems like they're in 50 cents corner on this one. They're not holding back when it comes to expressing their opinions on the epic Nas versus Jay-Z showdown. And let's just say they're not afraid to throw some hilarious shade in the process. One fan boldly declared, Lyrically speaking, I'll still pick Nas any day. He's one of my greatest of all time. Talk about some serious Nas fandom right there. This fan knows where their loyalties lie and isn't afraid to shout it from the rooftops. Nas has clearly captured their heart with his incredible lyrical prowess. But wait, there's more. Another fan chimed in saying, Nas still got it and Jay paid for all those Grammys. Oh snap, that's a spicy comment right there. According to this fan, Jay-Z might have a collection of Grammy Awards, but they're convinced that he had to pay some hefty bills to secure those shiny trophies. The insinuation being that Jay-Z's success is more about financial power than pure talent. Ouch, that's a low blow, but hey, in the world of gossip and rap feuds, no punches are pulled. Speaking of Grammys, Nas himself had something interesting to reveal about Jay-Z. He claimed that Jay-Z is still trying to compete with him. How, you ask? Well, when Nas released the track list for his highly anticipated album, guess what Jay-Z did? He allegedly went ahead and posted a picture with all his Grammy Awards. When I, I released the, tr the track list for the album the other day, he released a picture with all his Grammys. Talk about a not-so-subtle attempt to assert his dominance and show that he's better than Nas, the audacity. In any case, the beef between Jay and Nas has been going on for ages. For context, it all started in the late 90s when Nas burst onto the scene with his critically acclaimed debut album, Illmatic. With his poetic lyricism and raw storytelling, Nas quickly became one of the most promising young rappers of his generation. However, his rise to stardom was not without competition. Enter Jay-Z, a rising star from Brooklyn who released his debut album, Reasonable Doubt, in 1996. The album received widespread acclaim and established Jay-Z as a force to be reckoned with in New York's rap scene. But it was his track, Dead Presidents, which sampled Nas's The World Is Yours from Illmatic that set the stage for the epic feud to come. Jay-Z initially reached out to Nas, hoping to have him re-record the chorus for his version of Dead Presidents. 
However, Nas declined the offer, as he was unfamiliar with Jay-Z at the time. To make matters worse, Nas allegedly turned down the opportunity to appear in the song's music video. This rejection left Jay-Z feeling some type of way, and he wasted no time taking shots at Nas in subsequent tracks, claiming superiority and dismissing him as overrated. But Nas wasn't one to back down. In 1996, he released his second album, It Was Written, which featured the track, The Message. Many interpreted the song as a direct diss aimed at Jay-Z and the Notorious Big, who were both vying for the title of King of New York. Nas referenced Jay-Z's flaunting of his new Lexus with TVs in the line, Lex with TV sets the minimum. Jade. In 1997, tragedy struck the rap world with the untimely death of the Notorious Big. This devastating event heightened tensions between Jay-Z and Nas even further. Jay-Z took the opportunity to assert his dominance in the rap game with the release of Brooklyn's Finest, a track featuring the Notorious Big in the song. Jay-Z unabashedly claimed to be the new king of New York, taking direct shots at Nas and solidifying their bitter rivalry. Imagine this, Jay-Z, riding high on the success of his album Reasonable Doubt, allegedly couldn't resist the allure of temptation. Just months after dropping that fire record, he allegedly got tangled up in a naughty love affair with Nas's then-partner, Carmen. Talk about some serious hip-hop hanky-panky. Fast forward to 2001, when Jay-Z unleashed The Takeover as part of his Blueprint campaign. This opening track was like throwing gasoline on the fire of their long-standing tension. And get this, without actually naming names, Jay-Z dropped the line. Because you know who did you know what with you know who, but just keep that between me and you. Oh, the suspense! It's like a riddle wrapped in a mystery, sprinkled with scandalous secrets. This bombshell revelation sent shockwaves through the rap community. The gossip mill went into overdrive with everyone dying to know the sordid details. Who would have thought that behind the scenes of this epic rap feud, a juicy scandal of such magnitude was unfolding? It's like a hip-hop soap opera with killer beats and jaw-dropping plot twists. Can you imagine the chaos and drama that erupted from this love triangle? Naz, the betrayed lover, must have felt like he was living in a twisted reality show. The tension was thick and the diss tracks just got fiercer. But wait, there's more. Carmen, who would later become the mother of Naz's child, spilled all the piping hot tea in a shocking 2017 interview. She revealed that Naz dropped the legendary diss track Ether before she even had a chance to listen to it. Talk about being left in the dark. I didn't hear Ether before it dropped. I heard it on the radio like everyone else. Naz and I heard it in the kitchen together on the radio. Carmen confessed. Despite their breakup, they were still connected through their daughter's life. And it seems Nas wanted to show off his power by saying, hey, I've still got the girl, and she's right here with me. It was all part of his master plan to drop that bombshell track and shut down the beef. And boy, did it work like a charm. This whole saga seemed to mirror the notorious claim by Tupac Shakur, who once boasted about sleeping with Faith Evans, the estranged wife of his rival Biggie Smalls. The rap world just can't get enough of these scandalous love triangles. Oh, and let's not forget the aftermath. Ether became an instant classic and is still celebrated today as one of the fiercest diss tracks in hip hop history. It was a verbal beatdown that left Jay-Z and his fans shell-shocked, scrambling to recover from the lyrical onslaught. The epic saga of Jay-Z and Nas has had more twists and turns than a roller coaster ride. Back in 2005, they pulled off the ultimate surprise during a concert. They shared the stage, hugged it out, and declared peace in the rap kingdom. It was a heartwarming moment that made fans believe in the power of forgiveness. The hatchet was buried, or so we thought. But hold your horses, because old wounds don't always heal that easily. In Jay-Z's album, 444, released in 2017, he couldn't resist dropping some cryptic references to their past beef. It's like he was saying, hey Nas, remember those good old days? I still got some words to say. Then, in 2021, Jay-Z unleashed a freestyle titled, Sorry Not Sorry, and people couldn't help but wonder if he was throwing subtle shade at Nas once again. It's like they can't resist the temptation of taking a playful swipe at each other even after all these years. Is it all just for show, as 50 Cent suggests? Are they secretly trading disses behind the scenes while smiling for the cameras? Who knows? But it's definitely keeping the rumor mill spinning. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.